Jazzcast Pros. Bad bitches have bad days too. On this episode, we are talking about Megan Thee Stallion and her new website, which accompanies her album. The website is called Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too. It's all about mental health. It's all about wellness and realizing that you are not alone. So listen, if you don't identify as a bad bitch or you are not a bad bitch that has had a bad day, maybe you'll find the resources that you need on another site. But what she's done is let women know who you know think that they have to carry it all, who think that they can't take a break who think that they have to be perfect and present this face of per- of perfection to the world that it is okay to have a bad day. It is okay to need help. And it is okay for you to address your needs, for you to address your mental health. So thank you, Megan Thee Stallion, for being open, being transparent, and taking us on this journey. Now, can I just say, I absolutely love the name of the website, and I will say it as often as I can in this episode of the podcast. So head over to badbitcheshavebaddays2.com. Welcome to Living the Front Seat Life Podcast. I am your host, Coach Kelly Marie. I am, of course, recording from Buffalo, New York. The sun is shining, the air is crisp, and this is my season. Now, you might be able to tell that the podcast sounds a little different. We had to upgrade over at Living the Front Seat Life Podcast. A big shout out to Jazzy T from Jazzcast Pros. You know, it's amazing being part of this network, but she walks me through everything and she just sat me down one day and was like, Kelly, we got to do something about the sound. So we tried to figure out what it was and what it was, was I needed a new mic. Yes. So I'm coming to you super excited to record the first show on our new setup. I hope it is as pleasant for you as it is exciting for me, and it is time to talk about living the front seat life. So please like, subscribe, share, leave a review, and let me know what topics have meaning to you. So Megan Thee Stallion, artist extraordinaire, She is, I feel like, a household name for many folks. Um, You might not talk about her all the time, but when you hear the name, you at least know what that person is talking about. Now, she has recently released an album called Traumazine, and a part of that album, her website, Bad Bitches, Have Bad Days Too. So she was interviewed by New York Magazine's The Cut, And she was talking about both her album and uh, her experiences with her own mental health. She's had her own challenges and she is really opening up and talking about what mental health means to her and why it's important for her and others to focus on their mental health. Everything really resonated with me. You know, one of the reasons why I started Living the Front Seat Life podcast was because I knew that my story would help somebody else through whatever they were going through. I know from talking to folks, from presenting and doing workshops and just, you know, talking to friends and family that them hearing about my story, about my journey with borderline personality disorder and depression and anxiety you know, the the suicide attempts, the suicidal ideation, all of those things, they were not alone. They weren't necessarily going through the same thing as me, but knowing that someone, you know, has, you know, you guys, I've been to the bottom, right? I've, I've been to the bottom and did not climb out on my own, um, did not just wake up one day and say, aha, here I am, I'm healthy and alive and, and thriving, but it, it took time and effort And many people have seen uh, the journey. They know me when I was at my lowest, in the darkest of places. And they see now the progress that I've made, being able to function, being able to pay my bills on time, being able to articulate and talk about my emotions, being able to not just fly off the handle at the smallest little thing, but really I don't want to say being normal because what is normal, but I'll say 
being able to act appropriately and to function as a productive adult is not something that I've always been able to do. So to do that now, people see that healing is possible, that therapy and medication do work, um, and that everybody is on their own journey. So to find out that Megan the Stallion was talking about her mental health and talking about ways that she can use her story to help others. And she has this new album and this new website. And that is her way of, in part, um, addressing mental health and wellness. You know, women and people that have multiple intersections, what's the best way to say this? So if you are not a part of the dominant culture, being the minority, I'm not just talking about race, you know, minority culture, minority language, minority religion, you know, minority views on politics, minority gender identity, you know, minority sexuality, minority in different ways. The more of those uh, minority identities that you have, the greater risk you have for um, experiencing a mental illness and dealing with uh, mental health challenges like suicidal ideation and mental illness. I raise that because Megan Thee Stallion is a woman and she's Black. So those are at least two of the um, intersections that uh, we know she identifies with. And so to have her come out and speak about mental health to me was... I don't know if profound is the best word, but I was thankful, thankful that someone who appears to have it all together, she is using her platform to be able to reach people who do not talk about their mental health or do not even believe that their mental health is something that they have or acknowledge needs help. Her website, it's called Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too. I absolutely love it. It is a hub. You know, we talked about you know crisis counselors and things like that. She's not giving mental health advice, or you know, she has not become a, a therapist. But what she did was she created a platform for people to get the resources and help that they need. So it's a hub. If you go to Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too. Dot com. She has this anxiety visualizer. It's available on YouTube and you can probably search for it. And right under the links to her music is a visualizer video of the song Anxiety. It is stunning. I love the graphics. I love um, how, you know, you can hear in the background or say, breathe, take a deep breath. Uh, in addition to, of course, the music itself. Um, but it, it really sets the stage for what you're about to experience, right? If you're heading over to this website, maybe you just want to find some information or maybe you just want to see what she did. Um, I'm not going to call you nosy, but you just you just want to see what she spent her time and effort and money on. Um, but if you're heading over to the website because you actually want to learn about your mental health, you want to, um, you're, you're at a place where maybe you're having a bad day or you are finally saying, listen, this is something I need to tackle, but I don't know where to go. This is a safe space to be able to get the information you need. One of the lyrics in the song, which is the um, inspiration for the website is, you know, bounce back like bad bitches always do. That is one, you know, as a black woman, something that we are, are known to be overly resilient, right? We always bounce back. Black don't crack. You guys have heard me use that before. When you consider that there's this, you know, culture of women, and it, it's not just limited to Black and African American women, it, it is really women across um, all backgrounds, cultures, and we have to carry the weight, right? Like, we are expected to go to work, have children, clean the house, do all the things, right? And and at no point, now I am speaking in generalities, right? But at no point is there this welcoming environment for you to actually breathe, for you to sit and just 
be, right? We have this go, go, go mentality and to take time out for yourself is often seen as a negative. So again, for her to one, understand that this resource is needed and then act upon it is huge. Now, I know people are going to look at this and say, one, why does she name it that? Um, Or, uh, you know, she's not a therapist. What is she doing, you know, creating a website around mental health? She links to resources. It is a hub, a place for you to go to get information. It is okay to have a bad day, too. So if you are of the the mindset that, you know, you, you find the song offensive, you find her, you know, work distasteful, whatever it is, then this is not the resource for you. Like you can, and maybe I should have told you at the top of the show, don't even listen because I'm going to be saying bitches for the entire podcast. But in all honesty, you know, mental health is a serious topic and we see a lot of, um, you know, articles and, um, you know, news that comes across more young people, especially youth of color um, and black and brown children are dying from suicide. Suicide rates are going down in many places, but it's going up for children and it is going up exponentially for Black children. Oftentimes, artists get a bad rap because they don't speak to societal issues or they don't use their platform in a positive way. And she knows who listens to her music, right? She knows when she makes a song who that song is for. And the website, Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too, speaks to that audience. So if you are looking for resources, you're not sure where to go, not sure, um, you know, what site has the best information, this hub is a perfect place to start. She is intentional and specific in pointing you to Um, services like NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, um, the Center for Interactive Mental Health Solutions. Um, She is purposeful in providing those platforms for you to be able to address your mental health. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the website, one is the design. It's very contemporary. It is clean it's crisp. I love the colors and the the way that they use the um, images from the anxiety visualizer throughout the site. Um, and so one of the things that's always been an issue of mine is when you are going to a website because you need some help and you've got to click like eight times to get to the information that you need. You go to her website. It's basically one page. You scroll down and you can find links directly to the resources. So you don't have to keep clicking and digging through stuff to find what you need. It's right there. She has links to the National um, Crisis Text Line, um, the Suicide and Crisis Prevention Lifeline. And, you know, we've talked about that. We talked about it last time with Celia Spacone. Dial 988 if you're having a mental health crisis and you need to speak to someone. Dial 988, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, But here's what else she does. She takes the time to address mental health for people of color. It is difficult to be able to find resources that speak to you as a whole person, where you can find information, support, guidance, and assistance for people that look like you, for people that are going through similar things that you're going through and can understand culture and context and and racial identity, and all of the things that we bring to the table. She does that on this site. So there is a link to a resource that I um, have not 
seen before, but it is called Strong Hearts Native Helpline. So the website when you get there is a website for indigenous people and it has all the information. Um, this is domestic violence prevention and domestic violence awareness month. And so as you go over to their site now, they address that right on the, the homepage. Um, but it is incredible for us to be in this place, right? Where you can find you in the resources that you're using where you can read the words and this may you know seem oversimplified but when you read the words the words themselves resonate with you um and you know strong hearts is a um, they they have a um, 1-800 number 844 number but a, a toll-free number um it's a, a, a hotline that you can call again, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they provide help, assistance, and resources for confidential and anonymous domestic and sexual violence help. So I encourage you, if you're looking for resources, head over to the website. And there are resources for Black women, resources for Black men, resources for LGBTQ plus folks, but also LGBTQ plus resources for people of color. You remember I was talking about that, that the intersections, intersectionality, whoever she worked with, whoever she spoke with, however she came up with these particular resources I commend her. Um, it's like no stone has been left unturned. When you consider all of the negatives that we face when trying to address our mental health, when trying to find resources, it is refreshing to be able to find a place where everything you need is right at your fingertips. And again, this is a hub, right? It is a site meant to link you to resources and information. Um, is a website and resource organization called Dear Black Women. It's an affirmation movement for Black women by Black women across the diaspora from all walks of life, different cultures, different countries, different experiences. It is a platform that you can use to be able to get additional information. It is uh, really a place where you can go to find comfort. Now, for that particular resource, um, there isn't therapy available on the site. Um, and, you know, some sites will have like pop-ups where you could chat and things like that. This isn't that type of site. Um, you can, again, get more information and find uh, find out about more women who may share a similar story. One of the things that Megan Thee Stallion said in the interview that I was talking about earlier, um, New York Magazine, you know, she said, and this is her quote, it's comforting to know that other people are going through the same thing that you might be feeling. When something happens to people, they feel like, oh my gosh, this is only me. This is not normal. Or I'm probably the only person, I'm probably the only person in the world that feels like this. But that it, um, in, in pause uh, on her quote, I have felt that way. Um, I know so many people that have felt that way, that they were the only one going through a thing like they were going through. But it's comforting to be able to know that you're not alone. Even if the situation isn't uh, identical, um, you know that there's someone else either going through something similar or they have gone through something similar. And it gives you, you know, that hope and inspiration um, that everything is going to be all right. So she also says, you know, to hear someone else talking about something that you're probably feeling, it's more comforting and more familiar. That's why people resonate with hearing other people's stories. So that, of course, resonated with me 
living the front seat life is my platform, is my way of, of sharing my story, of sharing my healing journey and, you know, the processes that I have gone through over the years in order to get to this place of health. Um, and, and so to read that, to see that she too understands the comfort, right? In knowing that you're not alone. And the responsibility even that we have when we have a platform to use it to help others, I think is just incredible. So again, in case you missed it before, the website is called Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too. Again, Bad Bitches Have Bad Days Too. Yes, I told you I was going to use the word bitches as often as possible, and I'm doing my very best to do just that. So again, head over to her website. This is not a sponsorship. I'm not getting any money from their website or from Megan Thee Stallion. I just came across this resource and and thought that it would be excellent to share with you. So if you are um, in need of assistance, again, and just basic um I don't say basic help, but if you're not in crisis, right, and you're just looking for where to go or you're looking for information about how to be healthy or, you know, where to find a therapist, you can call 211. Um, You can also go to the Bad Bitches Have Bad Days 2 website at badbitcheshavebaddays2.com. And if you keep scrolling down the page, there's a link to therapist. You can find a therapist. You just put your information in and, you know, it's a a searched engine. Um, so that that too is is another resource. But if you are experiencing a medical emergency or a crisis, please call 988 to speak to a crisis counselor right away. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As always, I encourage you to be the light. I have an incredible guest that I have booked for an upcoming show. She is a mindfulness and meditation expert, and she uses chocolate to help you become a better you. So tune in. Join me next week. Hopefully you have liked the podcast or follow the podcast on your favorite podcast platform, and you're getting the notices when a new podcast is upload it to the platform. That way you really don't have to think about it. You just let the machine tell you when it's time to listen again. So like, subscribe, share, uh, let folks know about living the front seat life and living the front seat life podcast. They may get some benefit out of the same podcast you're listening to. So until the next time, I encourage you to be the light and to just find ways to spread love to spread hope, to be hope, um, to be love, and to be the light.